Hey guys, Heather at Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. This time it's, are they spying on your social media and why? Or who's spying on your social media and why? So we have the Hermit, the Empress, the Tower, and the Star. Choose your pile. Who's watching you on social media and why? Hi guys! Hello! Alright, I'm going to scooch this way. Oh, yeah. Scooch that way. Okay. So, what's up? As always, this is a general reading. May or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. And we're going to get started with the Hermit. So, who is spying on your social media and why? So, the Hermit is the Virgo card. So, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Coercion. Laughter. The King of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Five of Cups could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Trial of Flames or the Page of Wands. The Lovers could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, with that, could be a, with the Trial of Flames could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. <clears throat> the Five of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Seven of Swords, Air, Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mao Shen, the Princess of Mercy. And Rhea, Flow. So, who is spying on your social media and why? So the person that's spying on your social media is someone that does not like confrontation, okay? They do not like confrontation at all. They don't like be, being forced to make a choice. Um, they're a very defensive energy, okay? Um, there's someone that might make fun of other people in order for them to not feel like they're going to be made fun of. This is someone with very low self-esteem. This is a very manipulative person. Someone that is used to getting their own way, and when they don't get their own way, they take it out on everybody else around them. This is a spoiled brat. Um, I do feel as though you have shown this person mercy. I feel like this person has made fun of you, made you feel ashamed of yourself, made you feel like you aren't worth anything. This person has put you down laughed at you, maybe spread rumors about you, and yet you still felt like this person could be saved. This relationship could be saved. This doesn't even have to, I'm getting, I'm getting more of a friend feel here because there's, there's not that much, I'm getting a friendship feel here. You ha, there, there's a friend that backstabbed you, <clears throat> possibly took a partner from you, okay, or slept with someone uh, while knowing you had feelings for them. Whatever they did, they regret it. Okay, this person that hurt you. This is some, a, a, French, a friend that backstabbed you. I do feel as though you have forgiven this person, but you have kind of cut this person out of your life. And without you being there, without you making them laugh, making them happy, fighting their fights, I feel like you used to fight this person's battles for them. You used to defend this person. You loved this person. Didn't matter what this person did to you you still loved this person. And I feel like you finally had enough of it and you cut this person off. I do feel as though you decided to flow with the universal energies and that, the, and that your path was taking you down a different path. And so you kind of, I feel slowly backed out of the friendship, okay? Maybe you just stopped texting back as much or didn't go where you knew you'd see them, something of that nature. You've, you've drawn your energy back from this because I do feel as though they did hurt you. And while you have forgiven this person, I don't feel as though you really want them to be your friend anymore. So, but this person does want to be your friend again and this person misses you. So, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. If you chose the Empress, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. So the Empress is Taurus Virgo energy, okay? 
And then with that, you have Trickery, Wish, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun. So you could be dealing with any sign with the Wheel of Fortune here or a Leo with the Sun. The Empress. Oh, you got the Empress twice. So it could be Taurus Virgo, uh, Goddess of Broomsticks or the um, Queen of, of, of Swords. Room six for swords, swords. The seven of wands. So uh, with this, you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius with the seven of wands. And then the strength card. There's another Leo card. So heavy Leo vibes. Heavy, heavy Leo vibes. Shekinah, the presence of the divine feminine. And uh, Manasamine, the past. I don't, I'm sure I did not pronounce her name right. Um, so who's watching you on social media and why? I'm definitely feeling as though this is a woman. This is like the other woman. Okay. Or the third party. If you're in a third party relationship, then, um, situationship, whatever, then this is your pile. If you're not in a third party, this probably is not your pile. And I would go back and pick another deck because this is definitely a third party situation going on. And it's the your person's partner watching you. Okay. Your person feels like the queen of swords right now. Okay. So she feels like the queen of swords, which is divorced, cold, cut off. Okay. From her happiness what she sees as her happiness. This is a very feminine energy. Okay, it could be a man. The energy is energy, but I'm just saying I'm getting more of the, <clears throat> could be a king of sorts. You know what I'm saying? Could be the same, cold, detached, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And this could be an emperor, you know? Uh, but, because it is a general reading, so take what resonates. So this person, this energy that is watching you is, uh, I feel like, your person, I feel like your person has heavy Leo vibes, okay? And you have heavy Leo vibes. You both have heavy Leo, like, Virgo-y, Leo, Virgo-y, Aquarian energy. And this other energy has more of a Sagittarius feel or uh, even um, uh, like a Capricorn. But it's like, it's like your person, your person who you think is your person. I'm not going to say they're your person, but if you think they're your person, whatever. The person you think is your person sees you as an empress, okay? Sees you as the, you know, their reflection, their mirror, their happiness, okay? But I do feel with the third party here, they are in the midst of getting out of that with this. And so it's like this energy wants to know, the one that's watching you wants to know what it is about you that is bringing their partner back to you because i feel like this is a past partner okay i feel like you're a past partner of yours is with someone new okay or is getting out of the person they left you to be with or even if you were never together even if it was just like a one night stand or whatever if they chose somebody else if they were with somebody else they're regretting choosing that person okay because you have the divine feminine here and the past Okay, with with the Empress twice. So they definitely see you, your worth. They see you as worth more than this other energy. So the energy that's watching you is trying to transform themselves into an Empress. You see what I'm saying? Like they're looking in the mirror. But if you can see, it looks like it's a different reflection. The nose is different. Like the eyebrows are different. It's like a different face. I don't know if you can see it, but... They're looking in the mirror. They're seeing a distorted reflection of themselves. They're trying to manifest themselves into you. They're trying to figure out um, what you've done to their person to make their person want to leave them to come back to you. And they're trying to mimic that with your person, if that makes sense. So they're watching you to see what you do, and then they kind of copy you or try and put a better spin on it. I do feel like they're watching you because... There are, uh, like I said, I feel like this is, this is your, your person was with someone else. I feel like there might be children involved. 
because she is ha she is carrying a child. So perhaps they're scared of being abandoned. Maybe um, they feel like they need this other person for financial responsibilities having to do with children. They, maybe they feel like they can't support their children on their own and they need this person. And maybe you have children and they see that you support your children on your own and they're trying to figure out how you're doing it without anybody else is the vibe I'm getting and why that is so attractive to their partner rather than what they're trying to do. I feel like they're attempting to keep your partner trapped by using children or guilt trips or manipulation. They're trying to keep them trapped with them because they can't let go. They're scared. They have a lot of fear. And so they look to you and kind of try and mimic what you do in order to draw your person back. But your person is not wanting to go back. The, your person is wanting to go to you, the, the, the true empress, not the false one. So, all right. If that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Love and light. All right. If you chose the tower. The tower. What is the tower card? I don't think the tower card has any sign associated with it. It's kind of got like a circle around it, around this tower sort of a thing. I'm going to call it any sign because any sign is capable of creating a tower moment, you know? Kind of dealing with any sign or maybe someone with a very balanced chart. Trust. Insecurity. Four of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. Death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Wow. Lots of major arcana here. King of Chalices, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the Sun, Leo. The last pile had heavy Leo vibes too. I don't know if you want to go back and watch too, and it might apply to you. Um, Sarah Lockley, Queen of the Outsiders. And Oshun, Generosity. So who is watching you on social media and why? Your person. The one you watch pick a cards about that you can't stop obsessing about or had an obsession with in the past, if it's in the past tense, you know what I'm saying? It's your person. It's definitely your person. Okay, and they... I'm getting, like, they're hackers. Because I, I noticed with the death card, like, the skull... So it's possible like they're they're like computer geeks and know how to hack. Like if you've blocked this person, because I feel as though you have you have kind of blocked this person um, in in favor of yourself. I feel as though you've created a healthy boundary with this person um, and your energetic field. And so it kind of created like a oh my god, like she was so generous with her energy now. I don't have that and I'm scared to not feel that. I'm insecure with myself. I don't trust myself. This person, um, they, don't, they don't trust that. It, it's like they see the differences in you. Okay, they see, they see the differences. They see, but they feel it balance, that you balance each other out very well. Okay. I feel like um, a lot of you guys are very creative. And like I said, balanced chart, right, with the Libra there, balanced chart. I feel like a lot of you guys are very creative and abundant and generous. I feel like you give out a lot, but you receive a lot too. You've earned the You've learned the art of giving and receiving, of equal give and take. You've cut off people that take from you. You know what I'm saying? You're willing to help people to a point, but when it starts to, uh, to in impact your own life, you cut it off. You know what I'm saying? You're you're someone that if you have a whole sandwich, you will give you will give somebody a half of a sandwich, but you're not going to give them the whole sandwich. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you're someone that feels people deserve some help, but should help themselves too. It's like um, you're very you you take care of yourself first. You're not just going to give someone a whole sandwich and go hungry. You're not a super self-sacrificial person. 
Um, you take care of yourself and then you try and take care of others. You try and make things evenly balanced in relationships, in your life in general. Um, I do feel as though you have a tendency to get sidetracked. Okay, maybe you start, you're, you're like a project starter and then you finish and then you start and then you finish. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's like you get things done, but it's like you have several projects going at once and they kind of, it depends on where your focus is on which project is, is like you're an excellent manifester. And I do feel as though you use the law of attraction and you've realized that this person's insecurities, they were putting their insecurities and ego and everything on you. And you were like, I'm not it's not my fault that you feel, I'm sorry you feel, I'm hearing in my head, I'm sorry you feel that way. You're sorry this person feels like you're, they deserve your energy. You're sorry that they feel that way, but you don't feel that way. You don't feel as though this person deserves your energy. They have not been reciprocating in an equal manner and you've started funneling your energy elsewhere and this person is feeling the lack of abundance that was coming from you because you have stepped into your power. So your person is watching you because they miss the energy that you used to give them. And now they're kind of obsessed with getting that energy back. I feel like they're going to chase you. Okay, if you can see, he's getting ready to get on his dolphin. And then this guy's riding like a water horse. They're getting ready to, for the chase. They're, they're, they're going to shower you with love. They're going to shower you with, they're going to take away your insecurities. They're just going to, everything that you've given this person, they're going to give back to you. Like, they're going to kiss your feet. I mean, they're going to worship you. They're going to give you everything that you wanted that you didn't get from them. Or they're going to try. I'm not sure some of you guys are going to take that them back. I don't think it's going to be that easy for them to come back into your life. Okay, I feel like they're watching you because they're trying to figure out what they can do to balance out this situation, how they can transform this energy, how they can make the negative energy that they had put on you work for the highest good of all and work towards a path where you guys can have this abundant. I do feel so this is a very creative person. You might have something in common interests, like maybe you both like to garden and maybe one of you is really good at like growing plants and maybe one of you is like really good at putting strains of plants together to create something new. Or maybe you're really into like music and one of you can play the guitar, but one of you can write, one of you can sing, or you can all do, you know, one of you might be good at recording and one of you might be good at singing. Um, or, you know, you could both be very interested in writing and one of you could be a poet. The other one could write, um, <clears throat> like fiction or have a blog, but <clears throat> this person is spying on you to see what your goals and aspirations are, how you're doing on your projects. And they kind of have this idea where they can combine your talents and create something bigger. All right. If that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. All righty, ready. If you chose the star, this is a general reading. May or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. Could be dealing with an Aquarius with the star card. All right. Endur endurance. Authenticity. Two of Swords could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Four of Broomsticks, Aries, Leo, or I mean, what did I say that? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Broomsticks is air. The Ace of Broomsticks, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Hermits. And Yi, the sun, could be dealing with a Leo. Get the sun there. This is someone that wants to see you fail. I feel like this is an ex-partner or like uh, your ex-partner's partner. This is someone that wants to see you fail. This is someone that wants to see you cry. This is someone that wants to see you not fulfill your highest good. Okay. I'm getting a very exy energy or like an ex, an ex family member. Maybe, maybe you don't talk to them anymore. Like maybe you and your sister just don't get along. 
you know what I'm saying, and you don't talk to your sister anymore, it could be your sister, or you have like an ex-husband and, you know, your sister-in-law or your mother-in-law, um, whatever, it, it's, it's a family member of your ex-partner. I'm just going to say that. It's a family member of your ex-partner or their current partner, one of the two. But I'm getting more family here. Definitely like a, a ex-family member. So maybe it's one of your ex-family members that you've like excommunicated out. Or maybe it's like an in-law situation where you have like ex-in-laws. Maybe you had a really big uh, family in-law. And now like – and I'm, I'm getting – it's like they, they want to see you miserable. They want to see you fail. This person um, is watching you be yourself, okay? And this person is watching you be yourself. Create your own home. Create your own financial abundance. Create the life that you want. It. You're living the life that you want, but they don't think that you're living your life correctly. This is a very judgmental person. This person doesn't feel like you're living your life the way that you should be living your life and they're judging you for it. Okay. I feel like you're a very free spirit. Okay. Very wondrous -y energy, um, empathetic, possibly intuitive, possibly psychic. You're a very spiritual person possibly. Um, but you do your own thing and you do what you want to do when you want to do it. Like this authenticity card here, that's like from wicked, right? You got the green, you got Glinda and then you got, um, Alphaba. I love that book and that, that musical. But anyway, it's like Alphaba is standing in front. Glinda isn't in the picture. It's just her dress, right? Like, it's like Alphaba is, she was green and an outcast, right? But she was best friends with Glinda. And Glinda tried to help her, you know, dressed her up in her clothes and stuff. And she just never felt like it was her. She never had a problem being green. She, she, but she did have a problem with other people making fun of her for it. Okay, so I feel like you march to the beat of your own drum. You do your own thing. Like I said, very Aquarius energy. So if you chose this, you, you probably have Aquarius in your chart somewhere. But you are someone that is like a, I'm getting like a little chihuahua or a pit bull. Like, like it's like you, you, you don't give up. You're not someone that gives up. It's like no matter what life throws at you, you're going to make the best of it. You take negative energy and change it into positive energy like the magician. And this person doesn't want to see you do well. They keep sending you negative shit. But the more negative shit they send you, you transmute it and make it work for you. And so, you you know, it's it's kind of backfiring on the other person because you're kind of getting your shit together and getting what you want. And this other person is just watching you and wishing you to fail. And it's like you you won't. The Black Madonna is like the Mother Mary, okay? You might be a mother and you might be like a, you might be like a single mother, but maybe you aren't as involved in your kids' lives. You know, you might be, like I said, a free, more of a free spirit, kind of like me. I'm still, you know, I'm still involved in my kids' lives. I still go to their school stuff. I still, you know, spend my days with them and time with them, but I'm not, I was never really one to want the nine to five normal job. You know, I do love my kids and I love the time I have with my kids, but I'm more of like the, the masculine or what society would be a dad sort of an energy. You know what I'm saying? Where when you get divorced, usually it's the mom that gets stuck with the kids and doing all the work. Right. And then the dad is the weekend dad, the weekend warrior, whatever the fuck they're called. That's more of an energy I'm getting, but I'm getting more of a feminine energy. It's more like, it's, it's like an unusual thing. It's like the path, you took an unusual path. And if you don't have children, then you just took an unusual maybe career path that not a lot of people might have chosen, but you're very successful at it, okay? Um, so I feel like you kind of don't live, you're a rebel energy. You don't live by society's rules and you really don't care what other people throw at you because you're just going to take it and run with it. And just, you're like, energy's energy. Give me your energy. I'm going to take it and I'm going to run and I'm going to channel it and I'm going to put it all into this and I'm going to grow this. You know what I'm saying? It's law of attraction. But yes, so uh, if you are in a legal battle or something, just watch out what you're posting on your social media because you are being watched by an ex-family member that, and, and if you have any, not saying that you do, but if you have anything on your social media, I would, I would delete whatever, you know, could get you in trouble. <sighs> All right. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Love and light.